Good morning, guys. It's Ashley with the Passion Penny Pincher, and we are going to make something super cute today. We are going to make turkey for dessert. Um, as you guys are hopping on this morning, tell me what your favorite Thanksgiving dessert is. I know some people are all pumpkin, not so much pumpkin, pecan, um, a sweet potato pie. I mean, there's a, there's a pretty wide variety of desserts that people love. Um, I cannot believe Thanksgiving is a week from today. It's just, every, every year it sneaks up on me, but um, I'm in Ohio and it's been like 65 and 70 all week and it's sunny. We've been loving it and enjoying it, but it makes it harder to think that Thanksgiving, because we've had snow before Thanksgiving, so just, it's unbelievable that it's time for Thanksgiving, but we are so excited, and we're going to make something fun. Um, this is something that you could make ahead and stick in the fridge and pull out. These are just fun little treats. Um, I was showing my kiddos, and they were like, oh, can we eat those when we get home? So they were all very, very excited about them. Um, it doesn't take too many ingredients. Um, good morning, Kathy, and good morning, Penny. Thanks for joining me today. Oh, sorry. Okay, so um, what you're going to need to make these, you're going to need um, just your regular mini um, pretzels. And I bought the little Snyders because they were on sale. They were cheaper than the Kroger fans. So, and then some Rolos. I have gone ahead and um, taken all the, that was my job this morning, was to take all the paper off of them. Um, I did some of the dark chocolate salted caramel and some of the regulars and I kind of mixed them up so I'm going to do just a little bit of um, both of those and then you're going to need some candy corn I had to hide this from my family or it would have been gone <laughs> luckily I had stashed one up in the cabinets and they didn't find it yet and so I had an extra bag um, I know you can find it like year round but of course it's always yummier and more fresh when it's the time of year for it so I was so glad that I had those and then you need some Reese Pieces and then you need some little eyeballs. And I just got the little variety pack. There's some small and some medium and some large. So what we're going to do, I hope these work out. I did not test these ahead of time. Good morning, Debbie and Judy. Thanks for popping on and hanging out with me today. We are going to, these are going to be hopefully be super cute. Um, we're definitely more pie people, but I saw these and I thought, oh, if anybody has any kid, a bunch of kids coming or just want to set something out that's different and festive, um, and I'm all about making things ahead of time. So you could always make these and then just pop them um, in the refrigerator until um, Thanksgiving. So that is, that is super helpful this time of year. So I feel like everything is super busy on Thanksgiving Day. It's kind of go, go, go. So... Anyway, if you guys are looking for a fun little different treat to set out this year, these will be super cute. Okay, I'm trying to find good pretzels. These couple of these are a little bit broken, and I've got enough pretzels. So we are going to just put our pretzels out here. I mean, you could like really, really fill up the tray. Um, okay, now just place the Rolo on there. Okay, this is super easy, you guys. There's um, no recipe or anything to link to. I just happened to find it on, was it Pinterest or Google or something? I was looking for something cute and fun to make. Um, when you do the oven, you are going to do 300, and I already have mine hot. And um, you're gonna just pop these little guys in the oven for about one to two minutes, and you kinda wanna watch them um, you want them soft, but not like crazy mushy, okay? So, let me get these little guys on here. I'm crazy. I'm doing every other one. Oh, my goodness. I tried one of the dark salted caramel, caramel ones last night. I really like dark chocolate. That was, it was good. It was really, really good. I can't imagine having it melted, too. So, I'm very excited about these. Okay. I am going to pop these in the oven, you guys, for just about a minute. I still want to hear what you guys, what your favorite dessert is. Personally, what is your favorite Thanksgiving dessert? I'm so curious to hear that. You guys type while I'm watching these guys in the oven, not burning them. Okay, I'm going to give 
them just a minute. Good morning, Vicki and Alicia. Pecan pie, Cherie. You're speaking to my heart right there. And we don't even make a pecan pie, but that's okay. It's usually just pumpkin, and I'm, I'm okay with that because that's about the only one time of year that we have anyway. Peach, Vicki, I love it. Peach, I'm all about fresh fruit pies too. Pumpkin pie with Cool Whip. Do you do more Cool Whip than pumpkin pie? That's what my kids like to do, pumpkin pie with Ready Whip. Chocolate pie, Penny. Yum, apple pie. Good morning, favorite dessert, sweet potato pie. I have never had sweet potato pie. I love sweet potatoes, so I would probably love it. Um, cranberry bars, strawberry thumbprint, or strawberry rhubarb pie, sorry. Recipes, Beth, I don't have a recipe. It's super easy. I'll walk you through it again in just a second. My little guys are belting. You need um, mini pretzels, Rolos, candy corn, Reese PC, and mini eyeballs, okay? Dale, good morning. Please don't judge me. Sam's Club apple pie, Lynn. There's absolutely zero judgment in any of this. I will let you know, Costco is my favorite pumpkin pie and we're probably just gonna buy from there too, so. There is zero judgment from this household. <laughs> Apple Crunch, good morning, Dawn. There is no judgment. All right, let me check and see if I have not ready for them. I think, let me give them just another minute. Cherry pie, yum. Ooh. You guys are coming up with good ones. I figured that pumpkin was a standard, but nope, I guess it's not. I love it. I could eat every single one of those. <laughs> I have no problem when it comes to uh, desserts, unfortunately. So anyway, all right, you guys, let me check these. Last thing I need to do is burn these in the oven this morning. We are getting close. We are getting very, very close. And do you guys see, I don't know if you can see in the background, my little vase that I made. I put it on my kitchen table after work. Yeah, after I clean the table and put it up. And it just makes me so happy with the little twinkling lights. I love chocolate pie and chocolate oatmeal, no bake cookies. I love it. No bake cookies. Oh, I can sit down and eat the whole pan. Okay, you guys, these look so good. I think they are melted enough. I hope I don't mess this up. Ah, okay. All right. Now, see if I can handle this. Hi, Jody. Good morning to you. All right, hold on. Let me see. We're going to test one of these guys. Maybe? All right. Let's hope I don't fail on this, but you never know. I need to get the little. Hold on, how do I smush this? All right, this might be a Pinterest fail, you guys. <laughs> you guys, my turkeys, I don't know about this. Hold on, we've gotta, we've, we've gotta make this work. All right, Roxanne, if you've made these, give me your tips, girl. Do I need to let them like sit for just a minute? Since they're so melty, Need some tweezers. Oh, Jody, good idea to hold on to the candies. Yes, I do. Absolutely. I would have to run upstairs and leave y'all for a hot second if I gotta go grab those. I need to smush somehow. Okay, hold on. All right, hold on. We're gonna have some Pinterest fail here for just a second, but I gotta mess with it. I probably should have made these beforehand, but I really didn't think it would be that hard. Little did I know. <clears throat> All right, hold on, guys. Bear with me. We're 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 walk, rocking and rolling here, hopefully. Squish in there, you silly guys. Well, it was funny. A couple of the recipes said to cut off the white part and stick it in there, and some of them didn't. I was like. I would probably just keep squashing these, squashing the, um, squashing them in there and make them, yeah, make it all chocolatey, but it's all good. No worries. I need my, I need my helper here today. My little babes, he's at school today, but he would have been all over this. I cut some of these little guys in half. Ah! Okay, now that guy's 
this video. <laughs> All the things that we do, you guys, we're crazy. We are so crazy, but let me tell you, it is oh so fun to try different things. Sometimes I feel like I just get in a rut. I've never made these before, obviously. Look at me struggling this morning. But I am having a blast. I can't imagine what you do use these big eyeballs for in this kit. They're so funny. I'm sure you could use it on a big cookie or something, but anyway, okay, hang on. I'm gonna, I gotta show you. They're coming together okay. They're not near as cute as what the picture showed. <laughs> ingredients. Good morning, Rhonda. I believe Alice just pinned the ingredients for this. Super easy. You guys can just kind of make them, make them your own. Mine are gonna be some goofy turkeys, but you know what? My kids, nonetheless, are going to enjoy eating them, that is for sure. And I would definitely make this ahead of time. I would not uh, make this Thanksgiving morning with all the other things that I need to make, so. Anyway, they're gonna be cute though. I cut a couple of the Reese Pieces in half, thinking that it could kind of just like hang downward like the gobbler or whatever that thing is called. I have no idea, but anyway, we're making some progress. You guys, this is hilarious. You're so cute. Cherie, your little guys were cute. I know, we just have to wing it. There isn't always, isn't always time to, um, try old stuff out before we hop on here. We just get ideas and roll with them, so. We're rolling, I'm telling you. Rolling in the rollos right now. Woo, okay. I will not keep you guys on here forever. I will sit here and finish these up, but I'm gonna show you a couple of them because they're, they're getting better. They're gonna get messy, but it's all good. It's chocolate messy. That's the best messy to be, right? think I personally like the little um, Reese PC cut, to be honest. My opinion. But also, it's one more time than Tim, and you've got to, um... Okay, let me put a couple of these on the tray, and I'll hold them up and show you guys. So at this point, um, I'll finish the tray in a minute. They are so cute, though. They would be really cute sitting out on a, um, um, out on a little tray or something for Thanksgiving. So, all right. Let me do one more. Okay, I'm going to show you guys. See what you guys think. Or if you have any tips or ideas, please share, share, share. Should be grandma. Mary, have an awesome day. Thank you for hopping on. Have a blessed day, Mary. Okay. And I'm gonna try to not slide these all over. Okay, look. Here are these little guys. They're not too bad. They're not too bad. Um, so I think this is the this was my first one. He's kind of rough. And the rest of them I cut the Reese PC in half. So they didn't turn out too bad. They're pretty cute. My kids will gobble gobble them up, literally gobble them up. Um, so, okay, I am going to finish um, making my sweet little turkeys, and then I'm going to pop them um, in a container and stick them in the fridge, and um, hope they make it to Thanksgiving. <laughs> I don't know, with my crew coming home tonight, I guess we'll see. Um, we'll see. It'll be fun. Okay, if you guys, um, pretzels, Rolos, um, candy corn, Reese PC, and little eyeballs, uh, 300 for one to two minutes just to melt the roll down. Simple, quick, and easy. And then you just have to get creative with the rest of it. So you guys have an awesome day. Um, make some good dinner for your family this evening. And um, we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye, guys.